Food is the most basic human need and its access also regarded as a human right. Here in Uganda, most of the rural population are farmers. They cultivate food for sale and home consumption. However, farmers in most districts are faced with the challenges that affect the production and productivity of various enterprises they are engaged in. Among the challenges is Traiga, the witch weed. This uh, particular weed has been a very big problem here. Whenever we plant maize, actually cereals, if it is maize, it remains uh, of this height. It puts, but the harvest is always very low, and at times you harvest nothing. In eastern Uganda, the districts of Yiganga, Namutumba, Tororo, Namayengo, Busia, Palisa, Budaka, Kibuku, Bujiri, and some parts of the north, this trigger weed has affected most of the maize gardens and the cereal farms. <laughs> One crop research has shown is able to produce up to 50,000 seeds and the seed can last in the ground up to 15 years when it is they can still germinate. Unfortunately, because of its beautiful flowers, and also farmers not having enough knowledge and information about it, they tend to inadvertently spread it from one garden to the other. The seeds are very small, so they can easily move on farm equipment, our clothes, on, on, on fowl of animals, uh, it, can, it can be moved by uh, flowing water. For example, after a rainfall downpour, you have surface runoff taking the seed <coughs> much longer distance from where the mother plant is. Agricultural experts from Africa 2000 Network Uganda advises farmers in striga infested districts to uproot striga before it flowers and burn it to avoid spreading it to other gardens. The farmers have uprooted uh, striga, especially each one which, which has already produced flowers and maybe some seeds. They should burn it. At least that breaks the tra its transmission cycle. Uh, otherwise, if they just drop it anywhere, then it can move. It's Dr. Cheswa recommends longer 7H IR maize variety, which is coated with the striga way herbicide that kills the germinating striga, attempting to attach its roots to the maize plant. For the case of maize, there is what is called uh, imizapil resistant maize. It's usually long 7H maize, but this is coated with a chemical. And this chemical is able to stop striga from growing. It's able to delay its rate of growth. Uh, it's able to suppress its ability to produce a seed. So if you use it for many cycles, uh, cropping cycles, striga infestation or the, the, the seed load, the seed bank in the ground gets reduced. With the support from various stakeholders, if all farmers embrace the new technology, Uganda will be striga free, food and income secure. Joseph Bole, Eastern Uganda.